Hey there, creepy peeps. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, hey, welcome back. If you're returning, what's up? Today, we're going to be doing another facial phobia episode on something that I'm surprised I didn't talk about sooner, and that is chlorophobia. <laughs> Sure, you guys know what this is already, but we're going to be talking about chlorophobia or the fear of clowns. I feel like <laughs> I feel like just recently I did a clown video last month in August. Uh, I counted down my five favorite uh, creepy clowns in horror movies, so I'll link that video up on in the cards somewhere five years on YouTube and I still don't know, I can never remember what side it pops up on. There's only two sides, so I'm like, it's, there's a 50-50 chance I could just film it two times and be right. But why would I do that? So you can check that out if you want to know what my favorite creepy clowns are and for a very, very brief history on creepy clowns, you should watch that video. Anyways though, so let's get into how chlorophobia manifests in the horror genre. But of course, if we're gonna talk about people being afraid of clowns, we have to talk about it, Pennywise specifically. There are so many people that cite Tim Curry's performance as Pennywise the Clown as the reason that they are afraid of clowns, which I think is amazing. Like, I'm sorry that you're afraid of clowns because of that, but that's amazing that his performance was so influential to so many. I watched the movie, or the miniseries, I should say, later in life so <laughs> i didn't quite get the whole growing up and being traumatized by that i said this in my other my other clown video but what makes him so scary to me like what makes pennywise such a terrifying creature is that he is a creature he's something else that's posing as a clown which is for some reason just makes it that much creepier that he does that. Next on my list, of course, I have to talk about again, Art the Clown from Terrifier. The only clown that I can say actually scares me. It's just something about him being silent that <laughs> makes him so terrifying. I mean, the name of the movie is apt. It's the same reason why in a question of who's scarier, I always pick Jason over Freddy love Freddy and he has so many great lines of dialogue but it's just like when it comes down to being scary the more a villain talks the less scary they are which I think explains why I'm not scared of Pennywise because he talks a lot. Next of course we got to talk about Poltergeist specifically the clown doll obviously. Some of you guys in the comments of my last clown video mentioned the clown doll from Poltergeist as like your favorite scary clown or one of your favorite scary clowns. And I have to agree, that doll looks like a nightmare waiting to happen. <laughs> of course, it's always like the creepy doll sitting in a chair for some reason, it just makes it even creepier. And what I really love about the doll is that the way the face changes, so it's like it'll cut away and then you cut back and the face has like changed and warped. It just makes it even scarier, like, cause I, I just imagine like, looking at the clown doll, looking away, and looking back and the face has changed, especially if it's like a hard plastic face that should not move. <laughs> it's almost like cartoonish, but it's terrifying. Like it's very effective. And the last one I'm gonna talk about here is Twisty the Clown. That's another clown that got mentioned a couple of times in the comments of my last video. And quite frankly, I'm really mad at myself for not remembering Twisty in that video because at least in my eyes, he gives art a run for his money. It's something about the silent clowns. Like <laughs> that might be my exception. That might be my exception for finding clowns scary. Maybe it's because most of them talk too much. Although the doll in Poltergeist doesn't, but it's a doll and I'm not scared of dolls. So it's like double, like not scared of clowns, not scared of dolls. So it, it, <laughs> it evens out. But something about the <laughs> real life clowns that don't talk are just very scary and twisty 100%, especially the reveal of why he doesn't talk. It just makes it even scarier. <laughs> <laughs> somehow that reveal of why he doesn't talk and why he wears that mask on his face and ugh. So do I have chlorophobia? I know me, you know, the way I talked about Twisty and Art the Clown, you would think that yes, she's scared of clowns. I still say that 
if I have to give a hard answer yes or no, I say no because the majority of them are not like twisty and art and creepily silent. Most of them talk and make a lot of noise and have like the little clown laughs and stuff. And to me that just makes them not scary. So just give me a whole bunch of silent killer clowns and then you'll see me curled into a ball in the corner of the room crying. In the big general scheme of things, no, I am not afraid of clowns. But I completely understand why so many people are. You know in the comment section down below, if you have chlorophobia, if you're scared of clowns, and what about clowns makes them so terrifying for you? Let me know for you. You know what I meant. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new here. Become a creepy peep today. I post videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You can ring that notification bell down there to be notified every time I post a video, even though it doesn't always work. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, stay strange. Bye. This video is brought to you by all these lovely creepy patron peeps that you see listed on the left hand side of the screen. If you want to find out the perks to being a creepy patron peep, you can follow that link that is in the description of this video. Um, no pressure, but it's there if you want to check it out. Thanks for watching. Bye!